everyone and welcome to our weekly video update from Mark Outlet Seeds. I'm in our grain plot in the Friedensfeld area that's featuring our 80 day lineup and here we have our P82288 PCE. That PCE stands for Power Core Enlist which is a new platform coming out next year from Corteva. I'll cut to the chase and address the amount of rain that we received this week. Uh, it was an overabundance and that's a, an understatement, but some farms recorded up to 10 inches while others are sitting closer to 3. Uh, either way, it's just very wet and so that water is moving. It was quite dry beforehand, uh, which is a good thing, but we are going to face some challenges here going forward. However, it's not all bad. Um, obviously our field conditions are going to be a bit of a struggle for the next few days to week or more depending on your soil type. Um, but I think the big question right now is how is this going to affect our late season crops like corn and soybeans? A lot of the later seeded corn and soybeans will actually see perhaps a benefit from this um, where they still haven't quite gotten to the end of their grain fill period. Um, so we will see perhaps a higher bushel, bushel weight in some of that corn as well as some bigger soybean seed sizes in those beans that are still very green. The other thing that we can um, hope to see, I guess, on a positive note would be some later season plant health in our silage corn, especially if it had experienced some drought stress. So hopefully keeping some moisture in there, keeping it green so that by the time we do get to chop it, uh, we're still looking at a favorable percentage of moisture so that we can pack it properly and etc. Speaking of harvest, we have ran a couple samples with our um, harvest uh, moisture meter, I guess. And so we have some P7822AM in the Jeru area coming in below 30%. Uh, this is near black layer or brown layer, layer as we call it. Uh, we've also seen some brown layered P7389AM in the Friedensfeld area, seeded on May 28th. Um, so things are moving. I think last week was an excellent excellent week for accelerated corn development in our area, hot and windy and sunny and hopefully we can see much of the same here um, for the next week or so. Let's keep in mind that we are still trying to avoid a frost no matter what at this point for many of the corn and soybean acres in our area but as there's nothing we can do about that we'll just keep on top of assessing maturity for you and answering any questions as you need. So please get in touch with us if you have any of those questions. We'd like to thank everyone who joined us for our dairy specific silage plot tour last week. It was a great turnout and we had really good discussion around um, corn silage chopping maturity as well as our new hybrids from Pioneer. We've weighed several canola trials in our area of the brand new P520L canola. This is the newest offering from Pioneer that is a pod shatter equivalent canola. So very exciting to be in that uh, marketplace with our products. Um, performance wise, you know, throughout the province, over 10 ways uh, with a specific variety as a comparison, we're a bushel behind some of the leading canola products out there. Uh, and that's just one year's worth of data. So we're very excited to carry this uh, going forward in our lineup at Mark Hutlet Seeds. We do have an early booking bonus until October 18th, so just shy of a month away. That's an extra 3% off your invoicing for some uh, early season booking. So if you want to contact us with an idea or we'll reach out um, with some rough acres and ideas for 2025, then we'll get you booked in for that. Thank you so much for watching this week's video and have a great weekend.